Hi there, my entrepreneur friends. Today's video is about motivation of your team in stress situations. That is a question that I received from one of my entrepreneurs, entrepreneur mentees, and this video will explain how you can do that. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I help entrepreneurs to become better leaders. If you like the contents of this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with your community, and also leave a comment so that we enter into a conversation. I reply to every comment that I get on my videos. Today's video is about motivating teams under stress. I recommend to watch it until the end so that you have some more inspiration on how you can do this. Stress situations are situations that occur often in startups because you are in a growth modus, in a growth mode, you want to uh, get uh, ahead very quickly, you have um, high expectations of your stakeholders probably. You want to be first in the market, that is also very important. And uh, you will certainly also have stress situations with your customers because you are still learning on how to produce the right products, the right solutions for your customers and also to establish the best processes. I would like to suggest to you five steps to motivate your team under stress so that they go ahead with you and that they really perform at their best. Step number one is to explain why this whole lot of work needs to be done. Why right now you need maybe an all-nighter or why maybe now you need to work two hours more, why you need to come early, why uh, the complexity of the task has risen so much. So explaining uh, the reasons behind the tasks is very, very important and also explain again and again and again why we are doing all this in this company. Point number two, strategy number two, is to show a lot of understanding. So it does not really help your team to tell them, yeah, uh, don't be uh, such a pussy, in quotes, uh, you, um, should, uh, you, you should be harder, uh, we are all under stress. That is not right. You should be understanding. That means you should say, yeah, I can really understand. Uh, this is a lot of hard work for all of us. And if you are tired, um, I can only ask you, please, you know, go through it with us just, you know, uh, another two or three days and we will all have the rewards. Show this understanding and then go to step three or apply step three. Strategy three is to praise. Praise more than usual. Give praise. Well done. Thank you for the good job. Good job. Uh, good man. Uh, great stuff. Uh, thanks a lot for this. Uh, what would we do without you, etc., etc., etc. So in a stress situation, motivate your team by giving more praise as usual. That is step number three. Step number four, very important, allow times of rest. So after a very uh, big uh, effort, uh, uh, tell your people, now you go home, the weekend is completely free, or the Friday is free, or stay at home also on Monday morning. Give them this additional rest. Uh, appreciate the effort that everybody has done and also take into account that everybody needs rest. It is, from my point of view, a complete nonsense that in startups everybody has to work every day, including Saturdays and Sundays, 14 and 15 hours. It's also complete nonsense that you have to do with three or four hours of sleep at night. Most people to have a real good performance need seven to eight hours per night. So forget all uh, these uh, guru tips that uh, they try to make you understand. It is very much about rest, uh, a good balance between high levels of effort and the right amount of rest. And strategy number five, talk about the rewards that you will all get and also give these rewards. Have a big party once the whole thing has been achieved. Um, 
if you can afford it, give a financial bonus or if, uh, for example, two people have to get something done by a certain time, give them um, a restaurant voucher so that they can use it together with their partners for a dinner um, and all this kind of stuff. So rewards and also looking forward to the rewards, to the situation that will be achieved. Uh, that is very, very important. I don't think, I don't remember who that was. I think it was Hemingway who said, if you want to motivate people to build a boat, don't teach them how to build a boat. Um, uh, make them understand the longing for, for the sea. Something like that, you know, in that sense. Here it's the same, you know, uh, talk about the future, the great future that will motivate your team, especially under stress. Now, five strategies to motivate your team under stress. Strategy number one, explain why all this is needed. Why, what is the reason behind it? Strategy number two, show understanding and that you uh, really feel with your team. Number three, praise more than usual. Number four, allow times of rest. And number five, uh, talk about the rewards after the stress period and also give the reward. The LIFE program teaches you all the methods and tools of successful leadership for entrepreneurs within weeks. If you'd like to have more inspiration on leadership for entrepreneurs, register for my mini course by clicking on the link underneath this video. This was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.